a theme that has uh, emerged uh, quite uh, uh, quite often is that uh, there is no one single source of uh, of patients. Uh, so there are patients coming from facilitators, there are patients coming uh, uh, from the web, uh, there are patients uh, being uh, referred to from, uh, from doctors, so uh, an effective uh, strategy uh, should, uh, uh, should not rely on just one, uh, on just one source of patients. Um, the ones who are, who are, for those of you who have been uh, here in this couple of days, uh, they have uh, seen me and have known me as the marketing director of Intercare. Now I'm swapping my hat because we are also uh, a consultancy company and network which is called Destination Health. And so now I'm here as a, a partner of Destination Health, uh, which uh, wants to be a, a network, not only a consultancy brand aimed at uh, working on multi channel marketing to support providers in healthcare internationalization. So, what, what can we say about that? Uh, we have uh, uh, opla. Okay, so we can say that to generate incoming, per uh, can only imagine, Luca? Okay. Okay, so let's say that uh, when it comes to internationalization, uh, usually uh, people tend to focus uh, on, uh, uh, on how to bring patients. So bringing, uh, uh, influencing the patient is uh, uh, one of the key topics uh, about internationalization. So people tend to uh, focus on maybe um, setting up customer care or focusing on a price offer or uh, uh, preparing a nice website. This all influences uh, what patients uh, can, uh, can uh, um, how patients perceive a destination. What uh, is often overlooked is what uh, defines a destination. So uh, a destination to be a, a proper medical tourism destination should of course uh, make herself be known by the prescribers, especially maybe if you work on low cost dental care, it's more self service. If you work on oncology or neurology, the doctor is still a very strong prescriber. You should work uh, on all what is uh, the quality of uh, medical treatment, assistance, nursing, whatever, which is also part of the certifications we saw. Cost is a, is a part. The multicultural attention, we have uh, seen that there are especially some countries where the uh, cultural and religious aspects are very important to focus on uh, the, the treatment of the patient. So, what happens is that if we see these two charts, so the one concerning the patient and the one concerning the, uh, uh, the hospital, we see that they have really many, many, many points in common. Uh, so these touch points are those which should be leveraged on because they are the points where both a destination can position and uh, difference itself and are also the main points uh, which a, uh, a patient is considering when choosing a destination. So we should leverage more on uh, finding these uh, uh, connections and finding what of these touch points are really relevant for the patients. Uh, different markets uh, have different needs, for example, an hospital might position itself uh, for advanced diagnostic on one market where there is a need for this kind of, uh, of service, uh, but might position itself on excellence in oncology on another market. So uh, the strategy cannot be one single strategy for, for all markets, but should first assess the needs of a, of, a, of a country and then create 
a positioning. Um, I can say that as a, as, as a fair, we have been asked by many of our exhibitors and clients uh, uh, to bring in the buyers and the facilitators. Uh, we did that, of course they are a part of the market, but uh, they are the, let's say, the short term uh, asset uh, to use. You cannot build a medium and long term strategy by just relying on uh, facilitators, uh, but you need, but they are a good way to kick start the internationalization. So uh, the thing is that if you just focus on that, in maybe in a couple of years you will find that they brought in just a few patients and you will say no, so international, there is no medical tourism, it's not uh, a good market for us, whereas uh, if you plan with more uh, activities in the medium and long term, you can build a successful strategy. Uh, so it's all about uh, consistency, it's all about uh, vision and positioning. We think that there are six steps to a, to a strategic approach. The first one is insights. We talked about research, we talked about the lack of numbers, uh, of course, uh, this means uh, that uh, having global, uh, global numbers and global trends for a, pro for a provider would of course be out of reach of, in terms of economic investment, whereas if you just start to focus on one single market or one single specialty, you can uh, gain data, you can collect figures on that in order to develop the insight needed for a positioning. Uh, never stop improving. Uh, there are two, two areas of the market, uh, of the medical tourism market. There is the low cost and the high excellence, uh, but uh, more and more low cost will not mean low quality. So in a way, uh, medical excellence will always be forefront. Some people will just pay for quality non regarding the price, other will require quality at a low price, but medical excellence and all the standards which go with that, so nursing, technology, training, uh, the ambience of the hospital, the fact that you don't have uh, scraped walls and so on, will, will all be important and this certification can help. Be unique, it's a crowded market, uh, you cannot position yourself uh, uh, for all markets uh, with all specialties, so you need to focus on what you do best for that market and create a positioning on it. This means in the end become a brand, this means uh, not very much unlike what is done for, uh, for sneakers or for uh, cornflakes where you need to single out uh, what makes you unique, what is the connection emotional and rational with your, with your client, with your customer. Branding is essential also in the, in the healthcare sector. You should become a, um, a point of reference, building trust and building uh, uniqueness. Fifth step is engage influencers. Uh, as I said, uh, the, uh, the facilitators are one influencer, but for example, medical community relations are very important because doctors are often a uh, first referrer for the patient to, to a structure. Uh, insurances, we have seen in the, in the previous panel how they can be. Uh, media, of course, because word of mouth and third party um, approval is important, uh, but also governments. Uh, there are markets where uh, business to government agreements can uh, provide huge return. Uh, we have heard, uh, we were talking about uh, the Gulf states uh, where even if they're changing strategy and they want to retain their patients in their home countries, um, still uh, there is a huge flow of patients going abroad, but without going so far, there are countries uh, very, very close in the Balkans, like Montenegro, which lack a proper structured and complete 
medical system and uh, what they can, they do it in their country, but they refer lots of patients uh, abroad because they cannot cope with the structure to the needs of their patients. So also uh, working with government is uh, is a great way to improve your, uh, your flows and uh, engage lawmakers. Uh, it's a new market, uh, there are still barriers, there are still lots of things which can be improved. Uh, we were talking last month with the Minister of Tourism of Croatia and he was saying that they were passing a law to ban, to remove the ban to public hospital to treat foreign patients in Croatia so that they could open also the whole public market to foreign patients. So this requires uh, either a decision from the government or requires lobbying. This is, for example, what is being done in Italy where we uh, Italian hospitals are disadvantaged by, uh, by the, the amount of, uh, of VAT, of VAT, which is put on the medical expenses, which is far higher than the VAT which is applied in Germany, uh, for example. So, of course, uh, if you start with 20% uh, more of costs just for VAT, it's difficult to compete with other markets. So even the regulatory and the uh, law making uh, part uh, is uh, important in order to at least put at even competition with, with other key foreign markets. So, Acting for short term uh, is what uh, is uh, uh, happening a lot now, so quick wins, many hospitals are looking for quick wins, uh, but uh, uh, planning for medium and long term is uh, the only way to, to, to grow consistently and uh, uh, structure the business. So you cannot change laws in six months, you cannot become a brand in six months, uh, you cannot position yourself uh, in, uh, in a market in six months. Uh, for example, in Germany, uh, the Germany has built a long relation, a strong relations with, with Russia, uh, with hospital in Russia, with treating patients. They have a huge flow of patients from Russia, but why? Because when Chernobyl uh, happened back in the 80s, they were among the first European nations to start to treat uh, Russian patients who could not be treated uh, in, their, in their home country. With that they started building trust, they started building networking, they started building connections and now they are very, very strongly positioned in Russia. What does it mean? This means that if you want to move to Russia before you make a breach into this flow of patients and this flow of trust, it could take years because uh, it's not so easily that an insurance just say, okay, now scrap those 10 German clinics and bring in uh, 10 Italian clinics. Why should they do? You need to prove that you can bring an advantage. So this means investing time and investing money. Uh, we need solutions for a complex market. It's highly articulated. Uh, this is why to cover these six points, we believe that no single uh, provider could uh, uh, cater for all of these uh, needs and th this is why we, uh, we started a network uh, which can cater for, um, for all the needs of branding, of research, of uh, uh, hotel management uh, and, uh, uh, and also web communication. So, this network uh, is composed of five brands uh, where uh, I'm here to represent uh, Destination Health, but we also have Raffaella Molteni, who is from MedPoint, uh, who is a consultancy company in the States, um, um, taking care of uh, uh, hotel management in the broad sense and organization, but she will tell better. Rania Kimraki, she is from Royalty Consultants in Dubai, and uh, she takes care of business development and government relations uh, and uh, um uh, and uh, relations with, uh, with insurance companies and government. Uh, Andrea Boretto, Personal Life, uh, uh, with a previous life and still alive in Polytechnic of Milan, uh, studying uh, consumer habits and working uh, on a research on the consumerization of healthcare, which uh, we uh, aim to present uh, at the next edition of, uh, uh, of Intercare. 
Keith Pollard, who is uh, very well known in uh, uh, the medical tourist market, is the managing editor of EMTJ, which is the main uh, point of reference for, for medical tourism, runs uh, portals uh, with uh, um, about um, private healthcare UK and foreign clinics. Uh, so we believe that in order to cover the, the six uh, the six areas uh, w was uh, uh, more than a challenge uh, to be to be dealt by one one single company. Uh, what could be the start point uh, uh, as far as branding is concerned? The first point is to define the journey. Uh, you always talk about consumer journey. Uh, we might well call them patient's journey, but. Uh, I think that on the provider side we should start from the provider journey. Uh, this means, as we say, that you should create uh, a brand by leveraging on short, medium and long term activities. So of course uh, it is essential each marketing director has to prove the return on investment to, to his CEO. So you cannot just say, okay, just give me the money and in five years I will <laughs> bring you patients from abroad because probably in five years the, the marketing manager will have changed the, <laughs> his, uh, his, uh, his position. But, so you must start with assessing the standards you have. Uh, this is crucial to uh, also to, to select the markets. If you're not able, for example, to separate your, your kitchen from uh, normal food to halal food, uh, it's useless to, to try to get uh, uh, Middle East patients, for example. So what you can do, what you can focus on, and then start developing relations with facilitators and doctors who can be the quick start to bring in patients. But in the medium terms, uh, you must start to create a positioning, you must start to uh, put the basis of, of branding in each country, so selecting on which specialties and on which uh, target you want to, to focus. And in the long term, you should uh, uh, strengthen the positioning and you should also build a network able to uh, broaden, to broaden your reach. So, uh, doctors, um, we, for example, we heard uh, uh, this morning how part of the strategy of a large Italian hospital group uh, is uh, uh, train doctors in their country, so provide educational program. This creates very, very strong bonds because, of course, uh, if you have a, a professor coming from one hospital and you have a problem, you would uh, uh, um, most likely refer to him and to his hospital group and uh, tap into all those assets like the regulatory bodies and other partners who can bring you uh, more business. So it's a, it's a matter of consistency, it's a matter of delivery because you cannot miss on your promise, especially when you're dealing with, with the health of, of, of your patients, of your clients and trust. On the other hand, you should evolve also the, uh, the, the patient. A patient doesn't happen by chance from when he decides uh, that he needs a medical treatment, uh, be a new tooth implant or a, a cancer therapy. There is a long journey he does uh, while investigating uh, his, own, uh, his own illness because the patients more and more collect information on their, in, on their pathology online, finding what are the available uh, solutions, finding who can provide the available solutions, and finally choosing and booking, and booking the treatment. This is uh, not an easy start. This is the bad, uh, the bad news. Uh, the good news is that all these steps can be influenced uh, and uh, by identifying the right contents which can help influence the decision and uh, put forward, bring forward in their journey the, uh, our patients slowly bringing him closer and closer to my, uh, to my destination. Um, so, in a way, uh, we like to think of these journeys as, uh, as an evolution. So, uh, 
we are we are into Darwinism. So, uh, why an evolution? Because as we have seen, a destination and the patient journey are strictly connected. If you uh, at, at the start, if you if your hospital or your destination can provide, uh, let's say, basic services, go for. Uh, patients who need basic services so that uh, uh, you won't uh, uh, delude them and uh, they won't talk, uh, uh, they will generate a positive word of mouth as you know more what uh, your patients uh, uh, look for, you can evolve your destination and in parallel you can evolve communication and start uh, working on uh, wider or deeper uh, specialized services. So. Uh, evolving uh, evolution is both on the on the uh, provider side because it's also a matter of getting to know what uh, the needs are in order to put your your structure in line uh, so that you can satisfy the needs but also on the patient who needs to be able to collect uh, the information he looks for about uh, who is treating them. For example, the, the bios of, of the doctors are one essential part. If I, if I go to a counter or a hospital and I have someone messing around with my body and putting his hands inside my body, I would like to know the experience he has, I would like to know who he is, I would like to maybe have a call with him, uh, know how he would approach, know if, what he thinks. So also the, the personal touch is very, is very important. All, all this has to be thought over and included into the, the journey. <clears throat> so evolution goes, uh, has five pillars. The first pillar is, uh, is plan, so or develop the insights, uh, is uh, define uh, a strategy, define objectives, and above all, defining uh, the performance indicators. If you define objectives and you don't define how you want to measure them, that's pretty useless. Uh, engagement, so it's about marketing, a marketing ecosystem to reach, influence and inform the target, to manage the sets of medical consumer services needed to compete, to influence, so find the stakeholders and find how to connect and make them help you in uh, towards your objectives and innovate so define the business models that the digital transformation just think about uh, uh, what uh, CRM could do in, in hospital management and in dealing with patients who often uh, might be chronic who often might be uh, might have chronic disease or long-lasting diseases where they will need uh, some doctors to follow the evolution of the disease. <clears throat> so uh, this is, uh, uh, okay. but, so this is just to say that uh, what is needed is, uh, uh, is a complex ecosystem and a process which we use, uh, which we call the marketing ecosystem, which can help uh, create a streamlined process uh, in terms of communication, which once a context is set, so the context is the competition and uh, your hospital offer, can help you define all the various lines, all the various channels, which can help you feed in patients and drive them through the evolution process. Each step of the process have a, has a conversion rate. Of course, some will drop, some other will, uh, will keep on flowing. And this is quite crucial because having a process which can be measured online and offline can help uh, uh, define the, uh, the return on investment, but also with time can help also build uh, predictive models. So uh, once we have uh, collected some, uh, some data on, uh, on, on the actions on our markets and we know how they convert to the final, uh, to the final destination of bringing a patient into my hospital, I can also build predictive models saying how much I should possibly invest, which channels, which content I would need to use when uh, guiding this kind of, of, of evolution. 
Uh, this brings us, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make a skip because we have uh, Keith Pollard who has to take a flight. So before we talk about the multi-channel patient, we will talk about content. So Keith Pollard, uh, uh, Keith Pollard will, uh, will start his, uh, his speech.